Hello and welcome back. Have you ever wondered why the color blue brings a sense of calm or why it's associated with the divine? Today, we're diving into the riches and depth of one of the most profound colors of the spectrum, blue. Blue is often considered a gateway to the heavenly realms. Blue is more than just a peaceful, tranquil color. It holds layers of spiritual meanings that connects us to God's divine order and presence. Whether it's in nature or worship, blue reflects the vastness of the skies and the mysteries of the deep. What does blue mean to you? How does this common color speak to your spirit. Before we dive deeper into the spiritual and emotional meanings of blue, take a moment to reflect on how this color resonates with you personally. Does it stir up a sense of peace or perhaps an awe? Like gazing at the sky or the ocean. Together, we'll uncover, uncover how blue connects to our both spiritually, spiritual journals, journeys, and our emotional well-beings. In this video, we'll cover five key areas. The first one being the scripture meaning. How is blue depicted in the Bible and its spiritual implications? Next, we'll cover the color wheel. Blue's place and significance on the color wheel. Third, color psychology. Understanding how blue affects our behaviors and our emotions. Number four, the personality type. Traits typically associated with those who favor the color blue. And lastly, practical applications. How can we use the color blue in our daily lives, both spiritually and creatively. I'm Kalita Simmons and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, we would love for you to be a part of the community so that you can be a part of this journey that we're taking on Color Study as well as other things that we're releasing on this channel. If you are returning, then welcome back. Let's get started and jump right into it. Okay. So the first thing I want to talk about is the scripture meaning. So in preparation of this study, as I prayed before I started this video, I felt led to release this word to you. I don't know who this word is for, but I'm going to be obedient and I'm going to release it. Blue is a reminder that the heavens are open and God's peace is flowing into every area of our lives. He is calling us to reflect his peace and his trust in divine order. I believe that this word speaks directly to the spiritual death of this color and the call to align ourselves with God's heavenly plan. Whether we engage with blue, whenever we engage with blue, we are reminded of his sovereignty and his peace. In the Bible, Blue is often associated with heaven, divinity, divinity, and God's commandments. It symbolizes the spiritual connection between humanity and the divine. So now, the color blue is mentioned around 50 times in the Bible, and most of all of these are in the Old Testament. It often appears in descriptions of priestly garments, the tabernacle, and other sacred ob objects symbolizing divine connection, heavenly authority, and purity. We also see a connection to blue in the New Testament, it's specifically in Luke 8, verses 43 and 48. In this passage, a woman touches the hem of Jesus' garment and is healed instantly. Now, while the color of the garment isn't explicit, isn't explicitly stated, many scholars believe that it could have been blue, as blue was a common color for tassels on Jewish garments in Numbers 15 verses 8, 38 through 39. 
This possible connection emphasizes the divine authority and healing power associated with both with blue in both the Old and New Testaments. When we look in the book of Exodus, so in Exodus 24:10, blue is seen in the in the saf sapphire pavement under God's feet, a powerful image of heaven's majesty and purity. Blue was used in a tabernacle and a temple decorations, specifically in the curtains, garments, and sacred objects in Exodus 26 verse one. This, high, this highlights its importance in representing divine holiness. Blue can also symbolize obedience to God's law as seen in Numbers chapter 15 verses 38 and 39 where the Israelites are instructed to wear tassels with the blue cord to remind them of God's commandments. And then in Revelations 21 verse 19 describes the foundations of New Jerusalem being adored with sapphires, which is a gem known for its blue hue, further connecting blue with heaven and eternal life. So for me, as a prophetic dancer, I found that blue carries a profound meaning in worship. For me, it represents stepping into the heavenly realm where God's presence meets the earth. When I move with blue flags, I feel like I'm inviting his presence into a space around me, aligning my heart and my movements with his divine will. Each wave of the flag feels like a prayer, releasing peace and bringing a sense of calm that can only come from him, amen? Blue to me is more than just a symbol of calm. It's a color that embodies revelation, clarity, and truth. When I dance with blue flags, it's as if I'm declaring God's sovereignty, inviting his heavenly order to settle into that room or that space or that atmosphere, even if it's outdoors. It's a reminder that his peace flows through every movement I make. Just as the sky stretches far beyond what we can see, so too does God dominion. And dancing with blue helps me to reflect that boundless divine authority. For me, blue represents an open heaven, a space where the Holy Spirit reveals wisdom and insight and where I can connect more deeply with the Father's heart. When I use blue in worship, I feel that I am not only ministering to those watching, but also creating a bridge between the heaven and earth, releasing God's peace the comfort, and comfort in a tangible way. It is a reminder that when we worship with blue, we invite his presence to bring healing, revelation, and a sense of calm into every room. So that was an experience for me as a worship dancer who uses flags. This can also be applicable if you're just a dancer, if you wear the color blue, if you dance with a piece of fabric, whatever it is, that, that blue will represent all of these things that I just mentioned. So it doesn't have to be a flag. You can still release those things in the atmosphere with the color that you're wearing, whether you're dancing with the object, whatever you're called to do. It doesn't have to be flags. So I'm just sharing my experience as a prophetic dancer who worship is worship with flags. Amen. So that is our scripture um, section. So we're going to move into the color wheel. So for blue and for the color wheel, blue is a primary color, just like yellow, meaning that it cannot be created by mixing colors. It is a standalone color and it is positioned opposite of orange on the color wheel. It creates a striking visual contrast. When used together, these colors create a balanced and vibrant look. I actually created this blue and orange veil, and I think I like trimmed it out in gold. And I still have that piece, and it's just simply amazing. I'm going to um, see if I could put a, a, a picture of it up on the screen of what it looks like. That it literally, um, as I was reading this, I pictured that dance bell. So just the power of that visual 
amen, that how it can bring something back to something you experienced before or a reminder of something that was created. So, um, blue is a cool color, often associated with water, sky, and ice, which lends itself to the feeling of calmness, calmness, stability, and trust. Blue is, blue's primary nature underscores its foundational role in color design. Because its cool, soothing tones create a sh stark contrast with warm colors like orange and red, providing a sense of depth and calmness in various artistic and design contexts. It's associated with water and sky, further reinforces its peaceful and stable qualities, making it a favorable choice for creating tranquil environments. In ancient cultures, blue was often associate was often considered a color of protection and spirituality. In the Egyptian culture, blue represented the heavens and the universe. Isn't it amazing how cultures throughout history have connected this color? Much like is used in the Bible, this further solidifies the power and importance of blue, symbolizing God's presence and protection. Amen. So as we move into color psychology, for 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 the color psychology, we're going to cut we're going to touch on four different points. One of them being emotional influence, cognitive effects, physical impact, and encourages communication. So what does blue do um, in regards to psychology? So for emotional influence, blue invokes a feeling of calmness serenity and peace it is often associated with trust loyal loyalty and dependability for cognitive effects blue is known to promote clarity of thought making it ideal for a re for environments that require focus such as workplaces and study areas for physical impact it can have a cooling effect on both the mind and the body, reducing stress and promoting a sense of relaxation. It also encourages communication. Blue encourages open communication and introspection, often used in spaces where thoughtful dialogue and reflection are important. The, psycho the psychology of blue is grounded in the ability to calm the mind and the body. It fosters focus and tranquility, which is why many people use it to create peaceful environments. However, just like any color, in excess, blue can sometimes evoke feelings of sadness or detachment. So it's important to balance its warm tones when designing spaces. So just like we talked about in the previous um, videos, too much of any color can have the opposite effect, amen? So now let's move on to personality types. So this is again, a personality just, just covering typical traits um, associated with those who favor blue. So maybe one or two may remind you of yourself or someone. I know when I was reading this, this described someone in my life to the T. So let's talk about it. And then I would love for you to drop in in the comments if, this, um, if any of this described you or um, someone that you know who really favors the color blue. So personality type for blue. These people are calm and, de calm and dependable. People who are drawn to blue often have a calm and steady presence. They value peace, not just in their environments, but also within themselves. They thrive in places where they can reflect, think clearly, and make thoughtful decisions. This calm demeanor can make them excellent listeners and problem solvers, solvers, always providing a stable foundation for others. Yeah, this definitely describes anybody in my life that favors the color blue. The next one is trustworthy and loyal. Individuals with a strong connection to blue tend to be reliable and loyal. They, they are the kind of people you turn to in a time of needs, knowing they will stand by you. Their loyalty is often rooted in deep relationships and a sense of responsibility towards their loved ones. 
communities, or spiritual journeys. Those who favor the color blue, introspective and reflective. Blue personalities are often introspective, constantly seeking a deeper understanding. They enjoy meaningful conversations and time spent reflecting on their experiences, often engaging in spiritual practices like they journal, their prey to find insight. Blue lovers seek depth and meaning in life, always looking beyond the surface. Also, they are creative and open. Although blue represents calmness, those drawn to it are often deeply creative. Their creativity comes from an inner wellspring of thoughtfulness, openness, and peace. They use their reflective nature to bring beauty into the world, whether through art, music, dance, or writing. Blue personalities tend to think outside of the box and are often open to new ideas, often seeking ways to create harmony and balance in their creative works. If blue resonates with you, you may find yourself drawn to the roles or activities where you find, where you bring peace, insight, and creativity to others. People who favor blue often excel in helping others find clarity, acting as guides, mentors, or supporters in times of uncertainty. Spiritually, blue can represent a longing for a deeper connection with God, the desire for stillness, and a hunger for divine wisdom. Does blue reflect with your personality? Do you find, do you find yourself being drawn to environments of peace, death, and creativity? If so, share how blue plays a role in your life in the comments. I love to hear your stories and experiences. So even if blue is not your color, um, think about someone in your life who is a guide, someone in your life who you look up to as a mentor, someone in your life who is a, who will support you. Think of that person. So although even if their color isn't blue, it just reminds you, I can think of a couple of people who all those things would apply to, who I feel like even if they don't technically say they have a favorite color, um, you notice that they're drawn more to the color blue. Amen. So I would love for you guys to um, share something in the comments. When I, when I ask you to drop stuff in the comment, I really do want to hear your responses. I really want to engage and I definitely want to communicate with you guys. You know, this is a blue study. You know, I'm standing out in, in faith and boldness and releasing these um, videos to you guys. And I would really, really love for you guys to comment um, and just share with me. Amen. All right. So as we go to our last section, we are going to talk about practical applications. So practical applications, how blue can be used in many practical ways, both spiritually and creatively. For your workspaces or study areas, blue is a great choice for promoting focus and calmness, helping to re reduce distractions and increase productivity. In spiritual settings, such as worship spaces, or prayer rooms, incorporating blue can symbolize, and symbolize inviting God's peace and presence in your room. Who wouldn't want that, right? It, could, it can create an atmosphere of reflection and tranquility, making it ideal for prayer. So for me, as a prophetic artist, I often use various shades of blue and I thought about it, but I felt like that would be a lot of work. If I was to go back and look through my creations, um, it would just be nice to see how many times Holy Spirit had me create things with the color blue. Because we know the different shades of blue also um, hold significant as well. And it would just show like what exactly in that season he wanted to release, right? 
So I'm thinking moving forward as I create, I'm going to start journaling my creations so that I can really impact on the different colors that he's having me use like more predominantly. So of course, like I use a lot of colors, but which color is speaking a lot? Which color am I using in a lot of my creations in that season to kind of see what God is trying to release? So that is my, my journey as I go through these color studies that I'm going to start journaling down my weekly creations so that I can get a full understanding of what Holy Spirit is guiding me to release as to what he want his worshipers to purchase, to release into the atmosphere, right? Because you remember there's a season for everything. So this will help me to say, not to change my designs, but just to say, oh, wow, Holy Spirit. And the month of September and October, you know, you heavenly had me on creating with the color orange or heavenly creating with the color yellow. What did you mean by that? And then that's how you can further, you know, grow your spiritual, your, your depth of the color study to say okay let me start paying attention and then go seek the father to identify what is it that he's trying to say to me and both to his people through this color amen all right so as a prophetic off um artist i often use various shades of blue in my flag creations sapphire blue can reflect god's divine presence and heavenly authority while sky blue represents his peace and guidance so whether it's a deep blue symbolizing trust or aqua blue representing life-giving waters, each shade of blue brings a unique spiritual message and enhances worship. So the shades also make a difference. Amen of the blue. So this week, I challenge you to incorporate the color blue into your worship or creative practice. Whether that is painting, whether you paint, whether you dance, whether you journey, any journal, and even if you don't do any of that, even just adding blue to your personal prayer space and just see how God speaks to you through this color. Like literally ask God, what are you saying through this color? And then pause, reflect, and give him time to respond and journal that. How is he inviting you into his peace? or revealing his divine order in your life. Share your experience in the comments. I would love to hear how blue is impacting your journey. Even if this video sparked you to say, okay, I'm going to incorporate more blue, or I'm going to do this or that with blue to see what God is speaking. I still would love for you to share, okay, this video made me want to, you know, do something with the color blue or add it into my life. Amen. All right, so now I'm going to do something a little bit different. It's going to be a quick 20 seconds. Let me grab my timer. I want you to take a moment now, close your eyes, and imagine yourself surrounded by blue. I'm going to pause. We're going to pause for 20 seconds. I'm going to get instructions one more time. Close your eyes and imagine yourself surrounded by blue. Let's go. Amen. So what did you feel? I know it was short, but if you were intentional, God can speak in 20 seconds. It could be one word. It could be a thought. It could be a visual. What did you feel? What did you feel God saying about that color when you imagined it for that 20 seconds? When you just took a moment to just pause, I stopped talking and you intentionally imagined yourself surrounded by this color. Please share it in the comments what you felt. How did he speak to you? You don't have to share the, the intimate things, but just like whatever it is that you would like to share. I would love to hear from you. It could even be how is he speaking to you, how he is speaking peace into your current situation. Maybe you're going through something or maybe a loved one is going through something. He could have spoke to you about that. It could be a variety of ways that he could have spoke to you in that moment. But blue is the invitation to rest in his presence which is why we pause, reflect it, and just rest it for a second and reflect his peace. Amen. So I encourage you to take those moments of stillness to hear from God through tranquility of the color blue. All right. So we are at the conclusion of the video. Amen. 
So as we wrap up our exploration of the color blue today, I would love to hear from you. I know I said this multiple times, but I think on a yellow um, video that I posted, I think I got maybe one or two comments. I need to hear from you guys, amen? Especially those who were waiting for these color studies, maybe those who are saying, okay, I'm excited about the different colors that's gonna release. Whatever it is that you wanna comment. Like I said, you don't have to share personal things if you don't feel comfortable, but just know that we are a community Amen. And that's something that you can you can say in the comments can bless someone else. And it could have been something that guys want you want you to release that's specifically for a person that you don't even know. They're just reading it and they just respond like, Thank you, Father. So let's just be obedient. Amen. So I want to know how you notice if the color impacted your mood or your spiritual life. And does blue bring you a sense of calm or perhaps even a deeper connection to God? So again, as I say in every video, all colors come from God and God speak through colors. And I encourage you to take time to spend with God, to ask him what is he saying to you about the color blue. Amen. Allow him to reveal the significance in your life, how blue can affect your life. What is it that he wants to say through you? Amen. These are things that he said to me through my studies and even the guidance to share with you guys. Like this is a stand. This is like I'm standing on faith because it's like, OK, Lord, I was instructed to release these color studies. Even if 10 people watching it, I'm going to keep being obedient and I'm going to keep releasing them because even if now is not the season that the video will still be there. So when the person needs it, they'll be able to divinely find this video that God told me to release at the time that they need it. Amen. All right. So this week, I got another challenge. I encourage you to incorporate the color blue in your worship or your creative arts. So whatever that is, journaling, painting, dancing, dancing with flags, whatever it is. Um, see how he's speaking through you this, in, in this color. Amen. So I hope, I pray that this exploration of blue has sparked new insights for you. I pray that after watching this video that you found out something different that you didn't already know and even that after this video it would allow you to dig deeper to find out even more about the color blue. Amen. If there are any, again, if there are any colors that you'd like me to dive into the future, please drop them in the comments. I decided to do these videos bi-weekly so that they're not overwhelming and in addition to everything else that I have to do with my business, my personal life, married life, work life, I'm still working full time, still running the business. So I decided to do bi-weekly. I did post a schedule from now, from September, this video will be released on September 20th, from September 20th all the way to December 27th to hold myself accountable of each color that I'm going to release, amen. So go to the community, check out that tab, check out that post. Um, any color that's given to me, you know, that's not on that list can be like a bonus video in between. So even if the color that you're interested in is not on a schedule, still drop it in the comments because what I plan to do is add it to my list and make it a bonus video in between the bi-weeklies. Amen. So please respond um, as the what color and check out the community tab and see the schedule. And then even within that post, comment on which one, which color you're actually excited about or you're looking forward to seeing. Amen. So also, um, I just thank you guys for even just taking the time. I know these videos are more, you know, more towards the 20, 30 minutes because it's a study. It's really hard to kind of like do a quick video with this because it's so much information and just think this was just me summarizing a small amount of it. Like, you know, a study is a lot of information. So I pray that um, these videos are helpful. Um, be sure, you know, you can watch it multiple times. Make sure you take notes. And taking notes and journaling is important because as you write things down, God speaks to you in your writing. Amen. So even you just taking certain notes, it could have been something that I said that you jotted down and then Holy Spirit enhanced that thing to make it applicable to you, your situation, your family, your loved ones, your job, right? Whatever it is that you're seeking him for. All right. So don't look at it as just, it's just a blue color study because God can speak through everything and everyone. You just have to be open, right? To receive 
right? And you have to be at that season in that place that you're able to receive what it is that he's trying to release to you. Amen. So if this video was a blessing to you, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share with anyone that it would be a blessing to. Again, check out the playlist for all the previous colors that we did. Check out the community tab to see what's upcoming. Again, I would love to hear from you in the comments of all the different ways that blue impact your journey, how you plan to use it, how you plan to, you know, journal with it, you know, whatever it is. I would love for you to share even the colors that you're interested in. Thanks so much for watching. Amen. Be sure to turn on that post notification bell so that you're alerted every time we drop a new video because you know on this channel, our videos aren't just in one area. We cover a lot of different things. So turn on that notification so that you don't miss anything. Amen. So until the next one, you guys have a blessed, blessed week. The blessed. We're going to finish out this year strong. Amen. Thank you all again. Until next time. Bye-bye.